Hello there and welcome to Monty and Bex UK Van Life. This here is Monty, I'm Bex, and no camper van worth its salt would be complete without an entertainment system. So that's what's arrived, that's what I'm going to show you, and um, it's a great bit of kit, three pieces of kit, the TV itself, the antenna, and the bracket to put on the wall that will fold it all neatly away. So before we go into detail about the actual products themselves, I'm going to show him you how they came in the box and uh, then we can look at more detail in a bit. Okay, this is what I've got. The bracket to put it onto the wall, the antenna and the actual unit itself. Come in a bit closer, we'll have a look. So this is it guys, I'll show you the bracket first. This is a swivel bracket that can be mounted onto the side of the wall. A really great antenna, it doesn't need any secondary power to it and it's fully magnetic. And the unit itself, this is 16 inch LED TV which can be powered off either the mains if you're in a house or straight into a cigarette lighter. Remote control. Of course if I was to power the TV itself um, from a cigarette lighter that battery that starts the engine would run down pretty quick so I'm gonna need a, a leisure battery maybe two just to power a very very low powered wattage TV it's very ultra um, efficient at the way it uses its energy um, and that's why I've got that particular model which we'll have a quick look at in a minute um, and the leisure battery I was originally gonna have a raised floor here, a raised bed, enough room to put a couple of batteries and some storage boxes but if you look that would only leave me about that much height to, to sleep on um, and <laughs> I'm a big lad I'm gonna need a bit more room than that so maybe the leisure batteries down here or somewhere else and of course the way I'd power that would be um, either a wire from the alternator to the leisure batteries I'm not sure how to do that I'll find out or of course solar panels up on the roof and that's a real option so I was quite lucky when I bought the van that it had a roof rack already attached so I could spread um, layers across here quite big solar panels um, and I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more about solar power solar energy I'm not um, an expert in any field of building this van it's pretty much jerry-rigged but as far as collecting energy I'm gonna need professional advice so let's move some of these boxes out of the way for now and show you the actual TV itself it's um, 16 inch TV which will be mounted to the wall about here on a bracket so I can swing it out like that and the bracket should be here as well this is the bracket fully wall mountable. Now I'm going to have to make a backing board for this. If I was just to screw straight in, it's only plywood under there, it's not going to be strong enough. So I'm going to have to make a plate, then a bracket onto the plate, and finally 
the TV onto the bracket. So that's what we're going to do today. This will work if I plug it into the cigarette lighter. I've had it on before. Um, so we'll nip into the front, I'll show you it working. And then we'll go into a bit more detail about the actual unit itself. So this is all it is. It's one of them connectors here that you put into the cigarette lighter, running into an inverter, which will step this into 12 volt, and the other end straight into the TV. Um, I don't want to have this on all the time. It's going to run that battery flat, but I'm going to plug it in. We'll have a quick look. Also, if I can just reach inside here, I have this TV aerial which is magnetized straight onto the side of the van massive long cable on this and this and straight into the TV brilliant signal on it and of course this can also be placed on any metallic space you have on the inside I just click mine straight onto the roof there you are and uh, you do get a good signal out of that so I've got to plug this into the TV I'll do that now and if you come with me we'll just pop that into the cigarette lighter so I disconnect the sat nav plug in the TV there's the inverter let's plug this now into the TV it's not a very long lead um, which is a shame and then the aerial of the antenna Pop that in. Let's uh, lean it against these boxes. Here's the remote control. And for this, I'm going to turn on the ignition. Let's put a cut in that. We'll see if we can find a better station. Now I've had uh, oh my shadow is getting in shot there. That's straight off the cigarette lighter. Give it some volume. The speakers are underneath for this. So once it's suspended up in the air, you'll get much better sound quality. Let's see if we can find another station. It's okay if you like, right? That's a good picture. And it all comes from that aerial. You see how it's stuck on to the roof. That's on the inside, perhaps it's turned this into a giant aerial, the van. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Now, this will play DVDs, uh, old fashioned DVDs, I've got rid of all of mine. Um, and I was worried about watching films but it plays off USB media as well so I've got an external uh, drive with all my films on I can plug that straight into the side and watch whatever many films I have on my flash drive or external USB um, 
Also, the smaller USBs can plug into the USB 2.0 on the side. And whatever I'm watching on the TV, I can record whatever I'm watching, USB in, hit the red button, and I can record what I'm watching for later. Right then, I'm going to make a plate and start fixing the bracket onto here. Now just in case you're wondering why um, I couldn't mount the telly at the front of the van because the wire isn't long enough, I could have my head down this end really um, and sleep facing that way which isn't a problem but I do really want to sleep with my head this way because I've got a blacked out window I like to peep over keep my eye on things and uh, so an extension wire or a battery somewhere here or an elevated sleep deck um, where I can have storage for batteries and that might have to be a real option but it doesn't give me a lot of height once I elevate that bed and it actually is very very cozy in here at night light switch here some pretty little LEDs all the way around we're not far off completing this the unit is a bit scratched and I've got a couple of ideas to make it better I think I'll have a brew tea bags and everything I need in here a coffee whitener I hope this is coffee oh we're in business boys bit of sugar knife fork spoon plate do the washing up after made up absolutely made up Low, high, just, oh, I've lost my knob. Oh dear, that's not good. I've got to glue these on and I've also got to fix the doors on yet and I've got to make a grill secure underneath as well so you know there's, there's a lot to do we'll do the finishing off I think on a separate episode where I finally hinge on the uh, cabinet doors and uh, make the grill um, pan holder for under here. I've got the sheet metal for it so it shouldn't be a problem.
cup. Spoon. Well, it's a brand new Caligas bottle, so it's going to take us all the way through the season and maybe even into next season. Uh, and some coffee white. Now oh, it's a whistling kettle, so I will hear it when it finally brews, boils rather. Oh, I can hear something whistling. This is our first brew, you know, in this van. I'm glad you're here with me to enjoy it. Okay, let's turn that off. And put my little knob back. And turn the mains gas off. I can do that from the inside here. Fantastic. Put that back in the sink. There we have it. Covered in little sticky buds. So, oh, this is cosy. Um, even though I've only just made a brew, it's uh, warmed up the van as well. Not that it's a cold day, of course. It's it's relatively mild here in North Wales, where everything is filmed so far. Um, let me just have a quick taste of this. It's going to be red hot. Yeah. <coughs> ah. Jokey. There's nothing wrong with it. It's lovely. So that's our first brew. Watching Tally. In a van small enough that you wouldn't even consider would ever make into a camper. Okay, it's not luxurious in size as where I can sit up. I can sit on the edge like this. Bit of rain protection. Um, but as all everything I want, somewhere to lie down and sleep, a means of keeping me warm, a means of keeping dry, a means of cooking, and I have entertainment now. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. So what we better do is um, make a bracket holder panel for this at the back here. I've got some wood at home, so we're going to cut it to the same shape and size as the TV itself. Screw directly into that wood to hold the bracket and tally on. 
and then all the right away around that bracket and telly I'll screw all the way around the board now that is going to give it a lot more stability and uh, you know it, I want to safeguard that TV from ever coming off I could fix it down the front like I said and the wire would reach and I could just have my pillow down this end um, I'm still undecided which way we're going to do that um, I have a blanket for the front which covers the window I have a, a privacy screen so it really doesn't matter which way I lie I just prefer if my head was that way I like to see out not that it's a massive issue if I can get an extension wire on an inverter um, I could put it at the back but I do not want to use my car battery that's why we're gonna have to see where the leisure battery is gonna fit have my little uh, this is also powered the fridge by the cigarette lighter also this works keeps things warm as well as cold you just switch a lever at the back anyway um, we'll look into far more detail once all the vans complete and we'll have a reveal um, about what color the unit is all the finishing touches and then we can start thinking about giving it a respray first class absolutely first class I could get used to this uh, van life really could we'll go over some spec on this now the only real way I'm gonna do this is just to read off what's on the box I don't know too much about it um, I can tell you it's a 16 inch LED TV integral DVD player let's read what it says on the side here um, high grade DVD player uh, 1 HDMI as USB 2.0 uh, record, pause, live TV, playback in media files, um, multi-language display screen, and this is actually built in the UK. Um, electronic program guide up to seven days for a 16-inch TV. You know, it's, it's pretty good, but standard. Um, digital TV and radio reception, headphone socket. I didn't know that. Um, sleep timer up to 240 minutes um, a vessel wall mount uh, wall mounting size 75 mil by 75 mil we've looked at that um, operating power consum consumption 13 watts standby power half a watt um, energy rating a just about the best you can get really for energy saving uh, I'm sure there might be better on the market, like I said, I don't know too much about the TV, the only reason I bought that TV was just because it is um, so good at conserving its energy. Right, I'll finish this brew and we're off to fit the wall bracket at the back. First of all I need to hunt for a little bit of wood, shouldn't be too difficult. Right, I suppose better uh, head off home and get that bracket built. Okay, I've been Bex, uh, this is Monty, and we're both saying goodbye. So until next time, bye bye.